you watch watching the love and money show and today i have a very special guest brandon thank you for being on the show sure thank you so much appreciate it okay i'd like to start off by having you tell us who you are and what do you do all right so brandon rush um i am a full-time real estate agent and investor based out of uh central connecticut specifically i live in portland connecticut okay that's cool uh real estate investor um yeah. what's, your, what's your background Brandon yeah so I come from a, a background in technology uh since I went to school in uh, Westchester New York I uh, came out of there you know working in tech and um for the last you know as of a couple of years ago I was working in tech for 12 to 13 years everything from like level one very basic technical work all the way up to director role was kind of like the peak of my w2 career before I took off and um yeah, specifically working in networking, um, you know, server switches, wireless for all the geeky people. Um, that was kind of my thing when I was doing it. And uh, yeah, so tech is my background um, and management, I would say, because I kind of did a lot of managing, which is the, the, the aspect I like about or I liked about uh, when I worked in tech. OK, that's interesting. That's yeah. a good skill to have tech. Yeah, no, it's good. It's for sure. It helps. It helps. It carries over in a lot of ways and uh, specifically with systems. It definitely helps with everyday life and what I do now as well. Okay, Brandon. So, so you mentioned you're a real estate agent and a real estate investor. Why, yes. did, why did you choose real estate? Ooh, to be honest, uh, cause I wanted to quit my job and be free, but that's not, that was the initial thought. But, um, the, the truth is after I've learned a bit about real estate, um, it really is to take care of my future self. You know, um, I always, think about myself 10 years ago and like, man, if I had only started back then, where would I be right now? You know, and it's like, I always put that in my head. So again, I always just go back to that. And now that's the reason why I do it is to, to take care of my future self. You know, real estate is a very, you know, get rich slow um, game. So it's nothing that I expect to happen tomorrow, but in 10 years, yes, you, you best believe that it's going to be a significant difference in my life and my, me and my family's uh, life. So that's why I'm in it for long, for my long-term wealth, for my long-term, um, you know, benefit and just to take care of us, you know? Okay. Yeah. I like that. Best believe 10 years yeah. from now, it's going to be a significant difference. It's going to be on. <laughs> but I'm like you. I wish I had a knew about this a long time ago. I know. I know. I, don't we all? It's like, but it's all good because we're here now and all we can do is worry about right now and we just move right. forward and 10 years from now, we'll be dancing around, you know, just saying, oh yeah, you get it. <laughs> Uh, Brandon, what was your first deal like? Yeah, uh, first deal was a uh, house hack uh, that my wife and I moved into. Um, we we lived in a single family, kind of the short story. We lived in a single family for about six years and we learned about real estate. And we said this single family thing ain't working for us because it's just uber expensive and a lot of, you know, a lot of expenses that we don't get back at the end of the day. Um, and we read a bunch of books, long story short. We got involved in real estate and so you know we got a house hack that's we got a house hack not for the aspect of getting into real estate to be honest it was actually to save on expenses was the first the primary uh goal um so we picked up a three family in new britain connecticut that we lived in um you know founded off the mls uh nothing special about it retail deal overpaid well at the time it felt like we overpaid but now it's somehow worth more than what we paid so we'll take that and um yeah three family in new britain um and that was the first deal uh, the, the, the house hack Okay, so you started with a three-family house hack. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. That that's smart, Brandon. Um, <laughs> so what does your portfolio look like now? So right now we are at we are at two properties right now, a three-family and a four-family. Um, we've been investing probably two years now. So actually, going on three, we had three properties, but we sold. We ended up selling one that we bought between our first and third property, just because it wasn't the best investment, a lot of learned experiences from that. So the short answer is two properties we're at right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So you mainly do like multifamily. Yeah. Yeah. Love multifamily. Yeah. It's just, it's just my thing. I enjoy it. I understand it. Yes. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about your uh, real estate meetup group? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. So, uh, the meetup is called the uh, NEI Real Estate Investor Meetup. Uh, it started about, man, like two years ago now. It was just my wife and I. We, 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 we read a bunch of books about real estate. Like, what can we do to kind of, you know, build, a, build our names or whatever. And said, start a meetup. 
we started to meet up at a, at a winery, a local winery. It started with just my wife and I, and maybe one other person showed up, had drinks, talked real estate. And it built from there. We had to leave that venue because it got too big at 15 people. And then we had a new venue. Now we have to leave that venue because we exploded to 60 people. So now we're at a newer space and it's currently hosted in New Britain, Connecticut. Um, and, the, you know, the, the way it's ran is basically we bring a presenter to every meetup, you know, so we have our kind of network in the beginning. Uh, we have a uh, presenter speak on a specific topic because I'm, I'm big on education during these meetups. You know, I, I, the meetups are great, but um, you can go to 20 meetups a week and get nothing out of them, you know. So I want to bring something additional to it, which is the presenter. So we have the presenter come. They speak. A lot of Q&A that goes back and forth. That's probably the biggest aspect of the meetup. This is always a topic that people are really interested in. And after that, they continue to network. But they got something, you know, my key thing is making sure they got something of value out of that meetup that they can go home with. Um, and that's the meetup. It's ran on the third Thursdays of every month in New Britain, Connecticut. Uh, the website at this point in time is uh, www.neimeetup.com. That's N is in Nancy, E is in Edward, I is in the letter I, meetup.com. So definitely check it out. It's a little bit of a cost to come through, but the value is there. And um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's the meetup. Okay, that's good. So if anybody is watching the Connecticut area, they can... Come check out the meetup, get some support and networking going on here. For sure. Well, you got you got, got you got Connecticut, you got the New York folks, you got the Mass folks, you got the Jersey folks. So come through. So you're not that far away. Okay, Brandon. Um, speaking of the books that you read, what is your favorite book or some book recommendations? Oof. So this, mm, there's two books that are probably at the top of my list. Uh, you know, as everyone says it, Rich Dad Poor Dad. You know, that was kind of the. That was kind of the moment where you just you had a dead stop in your car and you sit and rethinking life <laughs> after you read that book. Um, so re definitely Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And uh, one more recently in the last couple of years was uh, Who Not How. Um, I, I don't remember the name of the author, but I know I'm not supposed to be like, uh, That's fine. I, I, I really want to get the name out because it's uh, Dan Sullivan, Who Not How very good book on utilizing others for their skill sets versus you trying to do everything um it's it, it is it is it is an, equi an equivalent of rich dad poor dad to me um you have to read it to understand it but i highly encourage those out there who are really in anything in life especially in business is um it's a great book to read to kind of help teach you about delegation and leveraging others versus doing everything yourself okay who yeah. not how i haven't heard that one i have to check Ooh. that you got man as soon as we get off just just go after it and <laughs> and uh rich dad poor dad a lot of people say that book oh yeah that's you cannot not read that if if someone reads that and and if they're in a certain place in life maybe they're not you know at a certain point wealth wise or whatever and they read that and they don't they don't start going that way then i just then it, i don't know i don't know what other i don't know what else is going to teach you you know <laughs> other than life lessons and you know you figure it out but yeah yeah. Or... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brandon, I'm going to switch it over to love. Yeah. The love and money show. Yeah. So you already mentioned several times. So I already know the answer, but are you single or married? I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I like that you're proud to be married, that you... Yeah. You mentioned it several times. I like that. Yeah. So, not, sorry. Oh, go ahead, Randy. No, I was going to say, you know, I, I and I'll let you ask because you're probably going to ask the question I was going to answer. And okay, okay, okay. Um, tell us one thing you have learned about money mm. as it relates to relationships that could help somebody else. Hmm. I would say you have to be on the same page, you know, and I'll go deeper on that. You have to be on the same page and that's, and that same page means a lot of, a lot of conversations, a lot of planning, consistent planning, a lot of maintenance on your, your finances. So example, my wife and I, we have a meeting once a month. Um, that's, it's called the family meeting. We have no kids, it's just us, but it's called the family meeting. And we really talk about our net worth, any big expenses coming, any expenses that are eating us up, and we really talk about, you know, the full picture of money. And we also track our network together as well. So we see trending and 
money going up and down every month, month over month. So if we see, oh, somehow we dropped 10 grand, all right, you know, or 20 grand, what, what's going on? You know, something significant, we, you know, is using that crazy fluctuation. So I'm like, what's going on? And we'll find whatever that, that is. But we're always in alignment in, you know, what we do. Um, it's not an easy thing, I could say, because a lot of people are not, uh, they're not comfortable having those conversations because they're, what they want and need are so different between one another. It's hard to sit down and say, this is the way we're going to do it for this month. This is the way we're going to do it for this month. But luckily, uh, I lucked out. We lucked out with one another, and we're both on the same wavelength, wavelength in terms of finances. So those consistent conversations and meetings really keep us, there's no surprises in our finances. you know. And if it is, it's something out of our control. But everything that is in our control, we're both aware, we're both, it's, it's visible to the both of us. Okay. So having consistent uh, conversations and meetings. But... Yes, you definitely have to have the meetings. You know, it's, it's, it sounds weird, but if you don't put it on the calendar, it, it, it's never going to happen. You know, it's just going to be kind of conversations in passing, you know, eating dinner or watching a movie, but it's never going to be planned until it's, it's trouble. And then you're sitting there like, how did we get here? Because you never <laughs> planned. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's a good nugget. So, yeah, um, Brandon, where can people find you if they want to reach out to you? Um, and then could you mention your meetup group again? Yeah, sure. So people could find me uh, Brandon Rush agent dot com. Um, that's kind of my fastest way to find me right now. It forwards to my Facebook page, my business page, but it may forward somewhere else in the future. But that's going to be the, fi the fastest way to find me. Um, and the meetup again is www.neimeetup.com. And that's the website for the meetup. And yeah. Okay. And last question. Did you have any last words to leave for the audience? Hmm. I would say, you know, I would touch on the, the, the you know, working out finance. I think it's a big, a big important thing, working out finances with your spouse. You know, I think it's, super duper important for your long term wealth because it's very hard to grow if you're not on the same page you know it's it's always going to be a, a a bottleneck or a restriction if one or the other is not in the same way believe you know um so have those conversations have them when you're young in your relationships establish standards in terms of how you guys operate with money from the beginning um you know because you don't want to wait until later on in life and then all of a sudden try to change when you guys have created this significant lifestyle and it's very hard to reverse that so you know if that's if that's what you want then that's fine you know but start those that foundation from the beginning of your relationship and uh continue to grow from there and build with one another but do not you know and something if you if you know something's different that you want to change with financially or whatever bring it up do not assume that it's going to be okay or you know you got to have those conversations and those those meetings and uh, talk it through but that's that's kind of my 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 you know my nugget or <laughs> My words for the audience, since it's based on your, your podcast. <laughs> okay. Well, sounds good, Brandon. Uh, well, thank you for being on the show and sharing your story. And yeah. the people can come check you out. You said Connecticut and the surrounding states also? Yeah, the tri-state. Just come through. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks for being on the show, Brandon. Yeah, thank you, Shakira. Appreciate it.